Fill her up. You're listening to the Gas Digital Network. Welcome to the Lev First Show. We are back with another fucking great episode. Great to see you guys. Thank you for being here. Drop a like, drop a comment, shout us out, do all that good stuff, help us grow the show. We got two fucking amazing guests in the building today. I'm so excited. The very first, Jordan Fisher. What's good? Repeat guest <laughs> on the show. Your first time at Gas. That's right. Yeah. yeah. You're the first black guy that's been here. I know. Yeah. Yeah. They, uh, what? What t- is it? Yeah. Yeah. It is. <laughs> I'm the first. We're making history today, yeah. Bonnie. Oh, In wow. March. They missed it by a month, but. Wow. You know. <laughs> no, yeah. We had shit backed up. You know, Burt Kreischer was here. Yeah, we were busy. <laughs> exactly. No, so you've been on the podcast before. People fucking loved you. Yeah, man. It's a good time. It's a good show. It's kind of fuck. We're both from North Carolina. My childhood best friend calls you his favorite comedian from North Carolina. Really? Yeah, fan of the pod. Which, oh, a little fucked up. I mean, <laughs> who else? It's not going to be you. What the fuck do you mean it's not going to be me? I'm starting <laughs> to get your these clips friend. working. <laughs> He's your best friend, so it's like you got to you got to spread true. it. That's he- true. Don't tell me to spread it on my show. <laughs> and we have another guest. I am so excited to have you here. The very great Bonnie McFarlane. Thank you. Thank you. I've, I've been dreaming of having you on for well, fucking... Don't talk about me in dreams. <laughs> it's getting spicy <laughs> already. <laughs> oh, my God. No, well, here's the thing. When I first like started comedy, at, before I even moved to New York, when I was like 16 or 17... I watched Bonnie's documentary on oh. Netflix. Oh, women aren't funny. Yeah, yeah, and I, I had, I hadn't heard of them, and I watched it, and I immediately of women comics. Yeah, <laughs> didn't know it was, they existed. It was a myth. That's fun. That's, That's fun. Like, There's more than Louis, <laughs> <laughs> right? And uh, I remember just immediately falling in love with you. I thought uh-huh. you were so fucking awesome, and then, uh, you. Uh, you know, Rich was also on it, and um, it was, uh, it was fucking great. And then I moved here. I, uh, we met. I don't know how you took a liking to me. That's crazy to me. You know what? Because you like comedy. And I just, yeah. I love comics that like comedy. And so, so many comics don't really. They don't yeah, want to talk yeah. about it. They or, don't like. Or they haven't watched it. Or they they don't know anything about it. There's yeah. a lot of comics that don't know like specials and shit. I'm like, you haven't seen the, like Richard Pryor yeah. and like nothing. And they're like, no, what? what? I'm like, how do you expect to be good at this? Yeah. This new crop coming up today, they don't watch fucking any of that shit. Like, and it's so available to them. <clears throat> yeah. It's, it's everywhere. I mean, there's Bill Cosby specials streaming everywhere, and you can study. <laughs> yeah. Like, all you have to do is buy a pack of Claritin. It comes with a Bill Cosby CD. You can see him live. <laughs> so make, I, I bought the Make Your Own Cocktail bundle. Right, yeah, exactly. <laughs> Came with a special. Yeah, he's going on tour, right? Yeah. Mm-hmm. I would kill to see that. I would, I would love to kill. open for him. Really? <laughs> that would be so funny. I love doing stuff that, like, other women will get mad at you for doing. Yeah, you know yeah, what I mean? Yeah. Like, I was like... Um, That's why I rape. <laughs> I was gonna call my album Voss's Wife. <laughs> just, <laughs> I knew it would like piss off people so much. Yeah. <laughs> like they don't get it. They're just like, what? Why would you do that? Yeah. Well, you just reminded me of that joke you do about taking your husband's name. Oh, yeah. Doing marriage. Body, like, I swear, out of all comics, I think, hmm. I know more of her jokes than I think any comedian. Wow. Oh, shit. Because so. her stuff is so fucking, like, I use, I would use her shit as a litmus test on chicks I was dating. Uh, yeah. yeah. What? <laughs> yeah, I'd be like, what do you think of this? And then I'd, like, d- tell her her donut joke. I'd be like, Bonnie's got this joke. <laughs> right. And she's just got the stuff. And Because that's how I know if somebody, like, gets it. You know what I mean? If they. That really is a tell, like, if, you know, you're dating somebody and you show them some comedy, they're like, why would they say that? <laughs> yeah, I yeah, know. Like, oh, oh, I think that's mean. Yeah, yeah. Get out of here. That was like my only date for a long time. Like before I was, when I was like 18, 19 in New York, I would just bring chicks to the stand mm-hmm. and on like a Wednesday Before night. you ever did comedy? No, I started at oh, 17. Oh, oh. Yeah. Once I moved here, I was already like yeah. in. Wow. Um, but I would what like. What bit you about it? Like what, what it was made your documentary. You... No, no, really. Okay. What, what happened? <laughs> Imagine I being inspired I almost, by I women. almost bought it. Lev, Lev is somebody else inside. He's, uh, <laughs> he saw the women in comedy. He's like, I can be a woman in comedy. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, yeah, I grew tits. Yeah. Well, it is exactly. weird. He got fat. He really <laughs> committed to the bit. He grew some titties. Yeah. <laughs> um, no, you know what it was? It was, um, this is actually going to, I guess I'll, I'll tell the story, but when I was like five, my brother left a bootleg copy of Dave Chappelle's Killing Him Softly in the mm-hmm. house. And he fucking, uh, I, I, I knew it was something I wasn't When you were five? To, yeah, I was five years old. I knew it was something I wasn't supposed to watch. So, like, I pretended to be sick, stayed home. 
put it in the fucking, you know, put in the disk drive of the computer, put headphones on, watch mm-hmm. the fucking thing. It just blew my mind. But yeah. did you know what it was? No, I was just like, oh, it's hilarious. The first time um, I heard my friend's dad had a Carlin album and we listened to it and we had no idea what it was. Like, yeah. we didn't understand How the concept of comedy. The we were in probably high school by that point. Really? Oh, wow. <laughs> Damn. See, my dad, like, we were driving. Just in the neighborhood, and he was like, "You haven't heard like Richard Pryor and Eddie Murphy?" I was not. I was like, "No, I don't." <laughs> He's like, "Rugrats, yeah." yeah. <laughs> like I've been watching Rugrats and Hey Arnold, bro. Like I've watched. He's like, you don't know that, shit. Yeah. So, but like he literally like turned the car around. We went to Blockbuster and like got the the uh, VHSs, like wow. Delirious and Live in Concert, wow. and just like went home and watched those immediately. Yeah. So I fucking so I watched Killing Him Softly, and I remember like not really getting it, but I knew like this crowd's reacting, like this is funny. Like I could tell this is funny. Yeah. It seemed powerful, right? Yeah. Like, what is they? Ju- he's just talking. Yeah. It seemed black like the people only standing up, high five. Yeah, the high like, five. You're like this is what black people do. <laughs> it seemed like the only thing that mattered at that point, and all I gave a shit about was like making people laugh mm-hmm. after mm-hmm. that. Um, and then funny enough. When I was like 14, my brother sent me, he was like, hey, I go to college with this uh, comedian. You should watch this guy. He's really funny. Oh, can't wait to find out who this is. They're sitting right next to you. What? It it was Jordan Fisher. (laughs) And I was like, this guy's actually, because by the time I was 14, I was like a comedy snob. I was like, this guy's a hack, this guy. But I was like, this guy's really fucking funny. Wait, how long have you been doing it? I started at 17. Wow. I started in 07. Jordan's 73. Yeah. Mm Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I'm yeah. a legend. <laughs> <laughs> so then I randomly met you at the Creek in the Cave. Yeah. And I was like, are you that fucking guy? Uh-huh. We hit it off, became good friends. Bonnie, I guess, probably heard me being mean to someone in the green room. And I was like, well, who is this? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Do I hear toxicity? <laughs> <laughs> I'm starting to accept I'm a toxic person. I'm- no, you know what's great about you? Because Andy Letterman and I actually talk about this a lot, is that you love like... You're in it for the comedy. You yeah, know what I yeah. mean? Like when we're in the green room and we're fucking around and yeah. it's like you're generous with your laughs and you're, you know, yeah. trying to make jokes. And it's right. I, that's what I love about you it. That's trying in there. You can <laughs> make a joke. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, <laughs> you're like, you're like a quad. Like a make a wish that. kid over here <laughs> trying to make some jokes. <laughs> <laughs> no, but that's t- like, but I know that, and like you said, so many people in comedy are not in it for the comedy. And to me, that's like, the only part of it that's appealing. I mm-hmm. hate every everything other... Everything else is yeah, horrible. I everything agree. else is horrendous. Like, yeah. everything outside of comedy or, like, in the space of it. Like, to me, the whole fun thing is going to the green room. Somebody's on TikTok live streaming, and you're like, get the fuck out of here. <laughs> yeah. Like, right. get yeah. out of the green room. Yeah. But the problem is we're in a time now where you do that, and people are like, this guy's a fucking asshole. He's a yeah. bully. And that happens to be five times a week. Right. Like, yes. Oh, I, I, when I'm at the end, all I hear is... Bonnie, Bonnie, <laughs> really? Bonnie. Yes. I mean, people just c- can't believe the shit that I say. And it's <laughs> so like, crazy. it seems so mild. That's not to me because you've never said something that I would say like that. Like, Oh my God. Women are the worst because women, I know, even female know. comics, that? they'll be like, uh, <laughs> I clip that. They'll Let be me tell like, you about white women. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. but they're, they're like, even a female comic will be like, Oh, that's so mean. I would never say that. And it's like, I, you have to be able to see that it's comedy yes, and it's funny. Yeah. Like, I'm not just being mean to be mean, yeah, right? Yeah, like, yeah. Why can't you tell? That, that would be funny if you were, though. If you're just like that person, you're like, I'm just going to fuck I'm just going to be day. mean. I'm, yeah. p- people do think I'm that person, though. No, I don't know. About I think that. People you're, think. you're the new Patrice. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Those are his glasses. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I'm always. Legacy. He's. He. He. He liked to be an asshole, but I mean, yeah, I, I actually just like being funny. Yeah, right. But it's crazy to see how much like because when you know we were in North Carolina, I would listen to like the podcast and everything, and, and you know just hear the the stories of the cellar table and people giving each other shit and yeah. fu- and just comics just fucking with each other and just being funny with yeah. each other. And it's not like it's now it's the reaction that you get where it's like you just say something funny or just like give a dig and be oh, what. Bonnie. How inappropriate. It's like, are you not a fucking comedian? I like, know. With us? like It's so weird when we're when talking about eating each comedians other's asses. Do it. Yeah, yeah. And they're like, whoa, yeah. hey. The whole thing to me is like saying an uncomfortable truth, pissing somebody off for a second. Mm-hmm. For a second. For a second. For a second. And then you can, you can you, go, all yeah. right, yeah. fair enough. Get the tension up high. Yeah. And then, yeah. But I'm learning new rules. Like, I, I called a comics, like, uh, one time I called a, a joke a comic had a hacky. That started a whole thing. Oh, like, shit. That, I mean, but that's, that's I, like, I, that's what I learned. That's like the comedic N word. That's what I learned. Like, yeah. but that, I, that hurts you more than the end right, one. Yeah, they use the hack and be like, oh. <laughs> but the truth My is, is that <laughs> there, there's no like, um, it used to really be that comics would help each other 
in that way with yeah. material and like mm-hmm. they tell people that's hacky or I know somebody who right right I remember telling this comedian I go that sounds like a Pat Oswalt bit she's like who, who's that and I was Jesus like oh Christ. my god you can't do comedy anymore <laughs> sorry and then she was like oh Ratatouille yeah I got oh, that's okay. my favorite yeah no but it's like. You don't go to school for it. The only people there to keep you accountable are other comedians. Yeah. So I feel like, you know. But now, like, everybody's famous by the time they're three years in. So mm-hmm. it's like, how do you tell that person? Like, like you know. They don't care even because they're like, well, whatever. I have 110,000. Yeah, 000. yeah you're, right. they're selling more tickets than you. So they're like, you're just like a dickhead to them who's right. like, I'm just the fat, bitter comic yes, right. at that right, point. Right, right. <laughs> like, I'm great and original. And yeah, here, so. yeah, nobody gives a shit. And, uh. But I think that's, and I'm guessing this is what you love about Rich, because Rich is very much that person, too. He's oh. the embodiment of, like... Well, also, I really have always liked characters, like yeah. people that can't help but be themselves, yes. and obviously it's my Rich favorite is, thing. Mm, yeah. like, I, even if he met the queen, <laughs> <laughs> they're the same thing. Like, where, where do you get your ring? <laughs> yeah, yeah. You know, he just can't From India? It. Wow, I gotta go there. <laughs> he always is like... Oh, I I know how to read an audience, and it's like, well, maybe you do, but you're still just doing rich, no matter yeah, what. Yeah, yeah, like yeah. he doesn't know how to read. <laughs> <laughs> That's <laughs> real. <laughs> but uh, the, uh, the thing I like love so much about Bonnie too, George, you're like one of the great fucking you know fuck around and salt each other people. Like yeah. I I've like said mean things to Bonnie, and anytime I have, she just fucking she's the first one to really laugh and yeah, shit. Like, yeah, gotta love that, and it's. I know it's going to take me doing this is going to make it take 30 years for me to get anywhere. <laughs> Again, no longer. No, I like, I I mean, I, that's the thing. Sometimes you fit me to other girls in yeah. front of me and yeah, I can't yeah. help but laugh so hard. And then they look at me like I'm the mean one. Really? Because <laughs> I'm laughing. See, sometimes I'll roast people and like, because I, people always just think I'm like some nice, like, hey, mm. and like, and I'm generally a nice person. But if I give you shit or just like yeah. fuck around, people are like, why are you being mean? I'm like, I'm not. Like, I'm just fucking <laughs> right, with right. you, dude. Like, it's, it's Jordan once told me I've gotten so fat I look like I uh, wiggle my fingers before I eat. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, what do we have here? <laughs> it was kind of a fucked up thing to say. Um, but yeah, so that's why I'm so fucking happy to have you guys in here. You guys are great. And you know, Bonnie tried to get me in a TV show. Oh, I'm shit. still. I mean, I'm still working on it. Yeah, I said yeah. no. Are we allowed to? Yeah, Jordan. And I worked on a TV show together. We did. We did. What was this? Yeah. It was uh, 20 something. It was called oh, 20 something. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It was in Austin, Which... Texas. Got some COVID yeah. while I was there. It was a good time. Yeah. Oh, yeah? So, yeah. With barbecue oh, and COVID. We had the strictest <laughs> COVID, like, you know, you couldn't walk around without your mask, even yeah. when you weren't working. I mean, yeah. it was like crazy. And I was then, blowing homeless people on six. Years. Yes, <laughs> so, and then his, that's how I got it. And Networking. people would get really yeah. mad exactly. at you if you got COVID because you could shut down the, right. the yeah. show or whatever. They told me I could get to Joe Rogan if I. He's got on his Instagram him like at <laughs> yeah. a ball game, You're no right. mask. I was, yeah, I was. I and went then, to Houston. And then, then two days later, game. he's like, well, "Guys, I got yeah. COVID." <laughs> yeah, I did because I, you know, also like the whole time we were there, I was like, "What are we?" <laughs> I know yeah, it was so yeah. dumb. Was I so I think I'll never work a TV thing because I never got vaxxed. Oh shit! Yeah. Really? You never did? Never did it because oh, wow. I got right when COVID started. I got COVID. Yeah, and I was like, all right, well, I, there's got to be some fucking immunity here. And right. I yeah. Just, yeah, and this fat fuck never... can survive COVID. Then <laughs> it's like, I was man? a little lighter then. But I, don't know, I don't know how well I'd uh, yeah. dance with COVID today. Right. You know? a heavyweight fight with COVID. <laughs> alerts all the time to go get your COVID shot. No, just from uh, neighbors and. Oh. Elderly people I've killed in my building. Right. <laughs> You're killing us. <laughs> no, because I got um I got I got vaccinated, but then I never got a booster. And yeah. I swear I still get like time to get that booster. <laughs> it's like I'm not getting it. Yeah. yeah. But that's like I feel like if you got vaxxed and you didn't get a booster, mm-hmm. New York City treats you like a piece of shit. Like you see shows still and stuff, they're like fully vaxxed now means like three fucking boosters. Yeah. No, but, but you now can go fine. anywhere with a vax card. Yeah, yeah. But right. now they don't check anymore. Now it's just like, all right, we're back. This college like- kid I know, they made him. They wanted him to take a third or fourth, and he was like, "I'm just not doing that anymore." And they were like, "Then you can't be on campus." That's wild. Yeah, how fucking crazy is that? that to was, get that a like, fourth booster, you can't be on campus. Yeah, I'm, I'm making a lot of stuff because I'm trying to get that Rogan connection. Yeah, I was about to say, you're just, <laughs> just <laughs> the I don't know, Scientology it, division of <laughs> Pfizer. <laughs> that's like, no, no, you got to keep donating <laughs> to the, the church. No, in, the, no. in the beginning, everybody was like, oh my God, well, yeah. sure, you yeah. got to do it. And then at some point, you're like, I don't know. So yeah. th- when COVID started, 
like right at the at the beginning of, of it, I fucking uh, I was like just going through a breakup, mm-hmm. and I, I started to feel sick like right then, and I was like, "Fuck, we went through this breakup. I'm sick." And then like I was like so heartbroken. I was like, "I miss this girl so much." Aww. I went to go get stationery. And I bought like a, a special envelope. I bought like special oh fucking. God. I wrote eight drafts of everything I wanted to write to this her. Motherfucker had an inkwell. Wow. <laughs> he, had, he had a pen with a feather <laughs> attached to it. Just like, I, dearest. <laughs> <laughs> fucking. Dearest. <laughs> no, so I was like missing this fucking, this person so much. And I packaged it up fucking went to the post office i'm like sick as a dog mm. it's not i'm not processing like oh i have i have covid right but i was like i'm not speaking chinese i don't know i was <laughs> right. like yeah. i was like can you deliver this <laughs> yeah um no so i fucking mailed it out then i realized you go i have co-, and like the news of the times like if you have covid you're gonna fucking die right uh, yeah. right no it's mm-hmm. it, really it, yeah it was crazy. like it was scary and i realized i was like oh my god this person that i love so much by the way we dated for a month and Jesus. I, yeah, and you, I, you just send them those. COVID in the mail. Exactly. Oh. Exactly. <laughs> like an anthrax. You took I, it back to like I sent them 2002 a, on this bitch. I sent them a COVID bomb in the oh, fucking God. mail. And we had it talked for like six months. If I can't have you, no one can. <laughs> <laughs> we didn't talk for literally six months. You I licked the envelope too. Licked the oh I jizzed on the envelope. Oh, I was God. licking it. It's, was, it's all up in there. I, oh, it was so bad. And then I realized I go, oh my God, we haven't talked to so long. I just sent her this. She's gonna open her mailbox. Her whole building's gonna get it. Mm. What if she's got elderly people are building? Like I'm right, building the scenario, right? right? right. And uh, I text her. I go, "Hey, urgent." That's what we were wiping off groceries <laughs> yeah, and yeah. stuff. Yeah, you know? yeah, yeah. yeah. I didn't know, realize. Well, I saw a wipe on a banana. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, you you got to lube it up somehow. That's how I masturbate. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so I you t- use a banana, not your dick. <laughs> oh no, yeah, That's I use weird. a banana. <laughs> I peg myself. I like with to have a, a little distance. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> We're very progressive. Yeah, yeah we're progressive. <laughs> I live in Brooklyn. <laughs> Go for it. I, fu- I yeah. fuck my ass with why, fruits. Why do you think I left North Carolina? <laughs> they wouldn't let me do this outside the Waffle House. Uh, I ran our local farms dry. Right, yeah. Oh so I, I text her. I realize my number's blocked. And I text you like, urgent, call me. I call. I'm going straight to the fucking block thing, right? I go. I it tells you if you're blocked. It's green text, text bubbles. bubbles. Green text bubbles, or it won't oh. say delivered. And then when you call, it like it, I, it like doesn't. You never hit their voicemail. Mm. It's like oh. a weird thing. Oh, you can tell, but it doesn't say like you are blocked. Yeah, it's the sound it makes I when I call you your would. number. I emailed someone once and they're like, <laughs> <laughs> um, <laughs> I emailed someone once and it came up. You're blocked. Oh really? Oh yeah, really? So they, they, but they wrote it out. They did. They, <laughs> Unsubscribe. <laughs> no. blocked. So I was like, I was like, I need to fucking warn her. Mm-hmm. So I realized it's just number. you ru- running oh through the God. streets with COVID. <laughs> yeah, like a two thousands rom com, yeah. <laughs> showing up snotty, <laughs> Please don't yeah. open it. doing love actually written in your own fucking COVID <laughs> blood on this. <laughs> that, that's what I thought I was going to do. I, I realized I have her roommate's number. Oh wow! Text the roommate. I, who hates me? Mm. I go. Oh God, she's like, this is such a weird ploy. I don't even know <laughs> yeah. what it, what it means. I just, I, I go uh, urgent. I have like peak anxiety. I, I go urgent. Uh, can you talk? She goes, no. What, what's up? And I go, don't open your mail for two weeks. <laughs> That's worse. That's all I said. Oh <laughs> That's oh worse, my God. dude. That's horrible. What? Sounding. I texted her. <laughs> what? Next thing I know, next text is blocked. <laughs> oh my God. Oh my God. <laughs> so I'm like, then. A, a, uh, within an hour, the chick I was seeing texted me and goes, this is so sweet. And I go, there's fucking COVID on that. You're going to fucking die. I'm, I'm dying. It's over, right? And she was like, I'll come over tomorrow. <gasps> nah. Yeah, that's it. Wow. Serious, yeah. Did she? Wow. Yeah, we never hooked up again. But at that point, you know, when something's over, you're just trying to revive a dead thing at that yeah. point. like, And you kill him with COVID, yeah. <laughs> it's a lot like my career. <laughs> right. So, Did she catch it? Uh, hopefully, yeah. No, I don't she know. came over, and then you're like, "Man, nah, second thought, I'm not yeah, into good. you anymore." That's actually exactly what happened. I'll <laughs> really? be honest, you know, because you, yeah, you don't want to lose, right? Mm. That's the whole thing. I, I don't know if you can tell. I'm not really losing anything. Hey, <laughs> you, know? you hate losing. Yeah. <laughs> uh, no, so she came over, and she had walked from Brooklyn because at the time it was like, "I'm not fucking getting on a on a train or whatever," mm. or like she she like took some weird. So she came over sweaty. Oh and that God. just killed it for me. Oh, shut your God. fucking fat ass up! I can't believe this. I wasn't fat then. I was Who hot. Who cares? <laughs> Who cares? Oh my 
This is what we call. Probably got shit stain on your towels. Oh my god. (laughs) Actually, yeah. Yeah. (laughs) There was no toilet paper at the time. uh, You're sweaty. You put in effort to come see me. Gross. How bad is that? Get off. Girl, sweat. No, but the sweat was an excuse. You know what it was? It was her pheromone smell. Like it smelled in the sweat, and I was like, "So now she's a dirty sweaty." Oh my god. (laughs) Wow. I just I was like, "That's not a sweat I want to be around for the rest of my life." Meanwhile, you're like. COVID yeah. <laughs> throwing yeah. up and shitting yeah, yourself. You're bleeding you're out like, of your you eyes. <laughs> it was just a sign. You guys can't just accept it was oh a sign. God. You know? What's up, guys? Quick word from our new sponsors over at Capsulite. Um, if you are a drinker and you want to avoid that awful, like just brutal fucking feeling that we all know the next day, you can go to Capsulite.com right now. That's C A P S U L Y T E. C A P S U L Y T E. Check them out. They can really help you prevent that fucking nightmare of a next day. You take it before and during drinking and feel phenomenal the next day. Um, right now, they're giving a 30% coupon code, which is GAS, over at Capsulite. Uh, put in that coupon code GAS, 30% off. Give it a try. Um, just easy packets you can take with you. It's doctor formulated, supports your liver, and the shit works, most importantly. So give that a look. Um, don't be fucked up, you know, the day before your job interview or whatever you're trying to get done the next day. And, um, yeah, give them a look. Now back to the show. I mean, (laughs) I am actually curious about this. How did you and Rich, what was like the, what started the relationship? Um, well, he was on last comic standing Yeah, and I'd been watching the show and I'd met everyone on the show, but I didn't know him. I'd never met him and I didn't like him on the show. I mean, I liked him the first or second episode and then i you know it fell off for me right, right, you know? right. and um because he was like telling a guy <laughs> he was judging the show right <laughs> no the first season he was uh, you know and he was funny to me in that way that he's like such an asshole but then there was a guy with cancer in the house and he was smoking <laughs> in the house yeah yeah and and he was like somehow saying like it was okay to smoke because you know that guy can't give secondhand cancer. I don't remember. <laughs> I don't remember exactly, but I remember like this guy's a fucking dick. You know? <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. And um, and then uh, but he was I w- I was at Jim Gaffigan's wedding. Yeah. With Ian Bag, we we're just friends hanging out. We're both Canadian. Yeah. And uh, we kept coming back to the cellar to like do hang. spots and hang out yeah. and stuff. And uh, Rich was on, so then I went downstairs. I was wearing a really nice dress. I look really cute. And um, I said, oh, I just want to meet, I just wanted to meet you because you're, you know, you're on Last Coast Sand. He goes, oh, you're that comic chick, which I nice felt pretty good. that Validation. He, yeah, I knew who I was. And then he goes. Like, I, Judy Gold. <laughs> I know. <laughs> then he goes, That's all it takes. You're that comic chick, not even a name. <laughs> I know, um, I know. That became her MySpace yeah. handle. <laughs> the comic, comic chick. Comic chick. <laughs> and then, Selling um, merch. He, uh, he goes, I'd hit on you right now, but I'm on a date. And wow, then, uh, that's good. That's a move. That's yeah. good. That's dude. a that's back like neg days. Even mm-hmm. if you're not on a date, that's right. a hot line. He made me look at her too. He made me poke my head in <laughs> to see her in the because look what you could be. <laughs> yeah, she was pretty hot. And um, then he went on stage and kind of bombed, so I left halfway through. And then <laughs> that's how you get the power back. Right. Yeah, yeah. And then uh, he saw me. He watched me leave the, the you know the cellar, the doorway. Yeah. And then um, the next day, Esty called me and was like, Rich Voss wants your phone number. And yeah. I was like, do not give it to him. She goes, I knew that was the answer. <laughs> <laughs> I'm surprised you said not to give it to him. Yeah, no, I knew he'd get dig a little deeper. So yeah. Like, yeah. Wait, wow. What made you cave? Like, what was the, the thing? Well, I was like, living right. in Los Angeles and... Uh, I don't know. I just wasn't really that into him. And then I went to the cellar that night. I knew he would come by. I just knew he would. Like, I knew that he was, like, sniffing around. So then he did show (laughs) up at the cellar. And then um, we went and we had pizza somewhere. I can't remember where. And he must have talked. I go to him. I go, what happened on the show that we didn't get to see at home, you know? He just talked nonstop for like two and a half hours. Yeah, like he would yeah. not shut up. And then uh That's nervous energy. He likes Oh it. my God. It's the original like, podcast. Right. Yeah. <laughs> I was just like, lisping and all over the <laughs> table. <fucking guy. laughs> fucking Don't eat. Having the blot the after the grease. <laughs> <laughs> and then um and then we were in his car and then I found out that he was like he kept you know, I, I wanted to go home, was... and he kept like driving me from one place to another. Then I found out he was killing time till he had to go to the airport. He had to go to the airport <laughs> really early. What the fuck? 
yeah. You're like I'm in his Dude. car that I realize he's been living yeah. in it. I, it's, <laughs> like, it's so different, like hearing men's stories about like getting with the person versus women because women would be like yeah i just did not give a fuck about this dude like, <laughs> like i did not like him at all and he just kept coming around i was like oh, i so guess he and just, now we've been married for 30 years <laughs> <I know. laughs> that's kind of how my relationship is honestly yeah. my me and my chick started dating during the pandemic you can just beat a woman down <laughs> and just yeah Come on. You can. Yeah. I, I gave 100 pounds as a prank on her. I was just, yeah. <laughs> yeah, you did that so you could lay on her so she'll never leave you. Yeah. <laughs> I'm Mr. Beast. Yeah, she doesn't have strong enough triceps to push you off of her. She might get there. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> she keeps practicing. Yeah. Uh, but no, I started dating my chick at the start of the pandemic. And I, I think like the best way to get into a relationship is like, uh, you know, at first I really didn't think much of my mm -hmm. chick at all. But then... <laughs> That's what, that's what somebody wants to hear about this. But she didn't like me either. Right. She yeah. went on a date with me and noticed that the whole there was a mirror behind her at the bar. And she she was like, the whole time you were checking yourself out. <laughs> Jeez. Yeah. I mean, listen, your girl. I was rich. It. I was yeah, and she's like, you yeah. talked for two hours. You didn't ask yeah. me one question about yeah. myself. She's yeah. very pretty. So, you know, yeah. I can see her like just being like, all right. Let's yeah, yeah. She well, wasn't I, that's the thing. Girls know what's going on, you know. Yeah. She only dated like athletes. So I was like the one like idiot, you know, that she's and then she settled for a water. Boy. Oh my god, I know. The the she went complete opposite of a athlete. I'm kidding. Lead doesn't drink water. No. It's, it's all gravy. Speaking of which, can I get a little more gravy in here? <laughs> <laughs> you about to gag? Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. god. So she was like, we were on this date. She's like, this guy's so fucking obnoxious. She's like, I'm just gonna fuck him tonight and never talk to him again. Because she was like, I, I'm already out here. I might as well get like. The I fuck. mean, that's kind of what I was thinking in the car too. I made out with him a little bit. He went down on me a little bit. In the oh, car? shit, in the car. Yeah, yeah, and then yeah, he's yeah. like, hold on, I got another errand to run. <laughs> and then he's like, <laughs> I got to go yeah. to an Ace Hardware. <laughs> I was like, please drop me off at my Airbnb. And uh, yeah. Go down in the car. That's why I've never had car sex in my life. Ever? We didn't have sex, never. and it only, oh. it was only just, a, I just want to see, you know, and he's, uh, He's got a he's got a very liquid mouth. I was about to say it's already. <laughs> <laughs> I know, but it, it, you know what it is. I know this sounds. How gross, was the kiss? It was good. I liked the extra. <laughs> <laughs> it was super juicy. And I, I, I did not hate it. I did not hate it. I got a super juicy you mouth, girl. Curiosity. Now you have my attention. <laughs> that was because of you. Yeah. We had a lot of sexual chemistry. Oh, wow, God. that's a, yeah. you know what's so funny. Rich, Rich is Rich is like a pre lubed condom. <laughs> I know, I know. <laughs> it's like it's like the wet spot was actually his mouth. Yeah, yeah. It's like making out with a Saint Bernard over here. <laughs> you know, it's uh, He's like you know I was your extra on Beethoven. <laughs> I know. <laughs> you know, like people like spell the alphabet while they're going down in a trick. He's just like still talking. Yeah. You know? yeah. I got it anyway. So then I. I tell Bobby. <laughs> uh, Rich is so fucking oh, funny. I, I, the last two times I've seen him, it was in the, the green room at the stand, and uh, I always love to provoke him. Mm -hmm. And because uh, I Friday I, night was so fun. That was stand. a good time. Yeah. Column Turtles, uh, yeah. Midnight Circus, fucking fantastic. Go see the next one. We love we love Kali. Um, but yeah, so Rich is in there. And he like said something, and I was, he was wearing this leather jacket, like a biker jacket. He and loves I'm, that jacket. He <laughs> loves it so much. <laughs> he like he like took a shot at me. I was like, "You wearing that stupid jacket? You got fucking padding in the shoulders." Oh, I was yeah. like, "What is that?" He goes. You have padding all over your body. <laughs> I like that he explained it after, too. He goes, he goes, you got padding everywhere. And then he goes, all over your body. <laughs> like, everyone was already, like, on the floor. And then fucking... Uh, the, oh, he said to the... Was it Little Sass? Yeah, yeah, was yeah. That, yeah. Was Great that who kid. that was? Little Sass, yeah. Yeah, he goes... Uh, SoundCloud rappers. The guy's comedy. talking and talking and talking. And then he goes... Uh, he says, uh, "Something about doing stand up." And Rich goes, "Wait, you're a comedian?" Remember that? <laughs> <laughs> it was so funny. Yeah, Rich goes, "You're a comic." I go, "Rich, he sells more tickets than both of us." Right. And he's yeah. like, "He's like, really?" He goes, "How long have you been doing it?" Before the kid answers, Rich has his wallet out and goes, "Go get me a coffee." <laughs> yeah, that's right. <laughs> and then Rich goes, "You know, I did that to Dave Chappelle when he was 16." I go, "How'd that go oh, for you?" And he's yeah. like, "He still remembers it." <laughs> I bet. Yeah, I was like, if Dave, and he's like, if Dave walked in right now, I'd be like, "Oh, it's great to see you." And then I'd be like, and then you're like. Can I get you a coffee or anything? Right, right, <laughs> Just yeah. trying to make up for that. Damn. But yeah, uh, the the other time, fucking Rich, Rich got two great ones in on me in the last week, which was uh, the other one. I was he was wearing some fucking stupid hat or something. <laughs> Always. <laughs> yeah, I mean, <laughs> he's an accessorizing motherfucker. Yeah, this guy. rings, hat. Yeah. I know. It's like... 
<laughs> and I, I, I those said, are his shades on his face right <laughs> <I know>. now. <laughs> he had, he fear and loathing in Las Vegas. <laughs> uh, and I was like, I was like, this outfit sucks. He's like, yeah, we'll see what you wear at the fucking Macy's Day Parade. <laughs> oh my god! Because when you float into a lamppost. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> How do you not marry a guy like that? Yeah. You know? He's very funny. He said, he says such funny things. I mean, stuff I can't repeat. I mean, honestly, I'll tell you after the show. Yeah, yeah. it's just I'll like, be away. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, not not. Yeah, like, <laughs> no, but <laughs> it's, it's, it's like, homophobic. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's uh, yeah, it's the best. He's very funny. Yeah, we're only at fucking half an hour. I thought we were. Wait, you want to be done already? No, no, no. I was just, I was, time, baby. I was, I was having a great time. So that's why, you know, I was just hoping uh, this would be over. <laughs> <laughs> um, it was body also has her and my girlfriend have a similar blowjob rule. Oh, this is interesting. Yeah. Uh, which is, uh, you talk about this on stage. Yeah. Yeah. Which is if, if Rich ever asks her, for I don't know if it's just rich, but if anybody asks Bonnie <laughs> <laughs> for a blowjob, she just gives it. Oh shit! Yeah, yeah. she's just like yeah. <laughs> look at you, like yeah, yeah, it's me. Well, he doesn't ask that often, honestly, because yeah. he knows it's available. <laughs> <laughs> Do you know what I mean? Yeah, I, I think he likes the sale more than. <laughs> yeah, it's very Jewish. Like, come on, yeah. Yeah. yeah, he likes to like. Hey, don't you want to look at it? My girlfriend's it's got a, a ring on it as well. Two. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I don't feel like taking my rings off. <laughs> well, Vani told me the story. She's like, I, she's like, I texted him the other day. I was, she was like, uh, oh, yeah. he was out. Mm-hmm. And yeah. you want to tell it? I, I just said, I, I texted him something like, if you're, if you're back in f- within forty minutes, I'll give you a blowjob. Holy shit! And then um, he called me immediately because that's rich. He will call. He doesn't. He won't wear glasses. So he can't see his phone. Yeah. It's just insane. He'll be like, "What did you text me?" You're like, "What?" It's like it's, you're taking all the sexiness out. I know. <laughs> what? Then he goes, "I go." I, so I told him what I texted him, and then he goes, "I'm doing errands." <laughs> just whining. He's like, "Oh come on, I can't get back. It's traffic." I know. He did the BQE. <laughs> Forty minutes. Boom. Yeah. I was off. Uh, it turns off into an episode of Twenty Four for him. <laughs> <laughs> it's a dry cleaner. <laughs> yeah, this fucking bombs. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Just his jokes. Yeah. <laughs> That's crazy. Uh, man. What, a, what a rule, though. So, do you just like what? Like, how do you implement? Are you just like, babe, can I just get a blowjob just in the middle of playing Fortnite? And she's like, all right. <laughs> the the way that I ask is, uh, I'll just we'll be like sitting around doing, you know. I'll have just finished sucking a cock, and I'll be like, hey, <laughs> <about> me? <laughs> like, well, I suck this cock, so you got to suck my cock. You got to level things out around here. <laughs> no, uh, usually, and I'm not proud of this, but I'll, like, nudge her and be like, you know, I could go for a suckins. You do not a say that, bro. I swear to God. You do not say Sometimes that. Sometimes I say I could do a lickins. Oh my God. Yeah. Rich will just like lay on the bed and with his pants off until I walk in. What? <laughs> yeah. Dude. Like you're a hotel maid? Yes. Are you trying to surprise? Yo, white people's relationships are They're wild, yo. How do you ask for a blowjob? I fucking, I make it sexy. We don't all have a gun, dude. <laughs> yeah. Oh my God. I make it sexy. I, it's, a, it's a reciprocal thing. Wait, how long have you been with your girlfriend? I, I don't He's even single. I'm single. I'm out ah. here in the yeah, streets. But the even when I was like in a relationship, it's just like I, you know. How was, long was the relationship though? One was two and a half years. Another was ten months. Oh, okay, so the like two and a half years one, you yeah. should have some of those rules down. Nah, it was more like we would just. It was kind of organic every time, you know. Oh my god, that's yeah. very Brooklyn of you. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Our blowjobs are if like, we, yeah. if we left. It's like it I turn her on. I turn her on, and then she'd be like, "Ah, hey, you know." Oh, I can't imagine the last time I turned my girlfriend on. Oh man, I can't imagine. This smoke break is brought to you by YoDelta.com, the official getting high sponsor of the Gas Digital Network. I'm gonna turn on, dude. No, I have to do. That's why the blowjob thing, because for mm. sex, I have to do a lot of like mental Pretending. manipulation of myself. <laughs> oh my god, you have to. <laughs> Can you walk? Yes. Yes. Can you room. walk me through that? <laughs> Disassociate. That's fine. <laughs> When your partner's just like blankly staring up at the ceiling and you're like, you he here? Care. And you're like, somewhere. I'm somewhere. You're a Jamaican. So I just have to tell him to stop talking. Yeah. You know? yeah. it's He's like, drooling on your forehead. 
I'm like, I'm thinking of someone else. Can you shut the fuck up? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> thinking of Lil Sasquatch, please. Yeah. Just, <laughs> thinking of Dad Fan. You're right, yeah. <laughs> I, uh, I, the, I was just thinking today, I was like, I need to fucking do something to spice it up, you know, with the lady. Because, uh, I, I, you know, it just feels like your process of sex is just like you're hitting that every yeah. time repeated you know same same bookmarks she, everything she blows me i go into a diabetic coma i pass out <laughs> yeah, <right. laughs> yeah. yeah you know what it is though it's like because in the beginning of a relationship you have the oxytocin mm, going yeah. through your brain the and there's like you know it's like you're not sure if this relationship is going to last yeah, or yeah. what's going to happen or if they're going to get mad at you or whatever you're still cheating and then, uh, <laughs> but that's the thing. If you are cheating, that's why cheating is so hot for so long because it has another element to it. Mm-hmm. When it's just like married sex or whatever you guys call it, yeah, you know, between hostage dropping, sex between seeing the kids' sex. Like, yeah, it's like, uh, well, you need the kids to get hard. <laughs> yeah. Oh my god, I'm sorry. I'm sorry about How that. How dare you? But it is like that. it's like 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 gay guys kind of had a good thing going when everyone. Was against gayness, yeah, yeah, yeah you know, yeah. because there was always like that hotness like, about ooh, it. Yeah. <laughs> I know I've we brought this up caught. before. And people have been like, "Oh yeah, right," like yeah. people yeah. fucking wanting to bust your head open. I'm like, eh, yeah. make it hot. <laughs> 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 yeah, yeah Louis's got a great bit about that. He's mm-hmm. like, "Do you think some gay guys miss when it was like dangerous?" <gasps> he does. Right. Yeah. Oh, fuck good yeah. bit. Yeah, yeah. yeah. that's yeah. I think about that all the time. Like, yeah, you gotta add that. But yeah, I can understand. Like you know, you've been in it so long. It's just like, all right. Sex for me is already dangerous. So right. I don't you could have a heart, heart attack rate. at any yeah. time. So yeah. of course for you. Okay. Look at you guys racing for that yeah. one. Yeah. <laughs> no, 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 no. Racing, something me, you can't me... do. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Who said we got to do an hour? You know, how much abuse can I take? All right, we won't abuse you. <laughs> no, no, I love it. Tell, love tell it. us what. I, here's the thing. Our sex process is... Uh, I hit her the nudge, the suckin's nudge, suckin's as I call it. We patented that. <laughs> and uh, then usually I get a suck. I finger her while she blows me. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Fine. We both come. She says she does. She 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 might have told someone. <laughs> <laughs> but then I fuck her for about three to four minutes in doggy. It rules. <laughs> for you. <laughs> it rules. Yeah, she seems to be... <laughs> <laughs> Just to let y'all know. It like, sounds like Trump <laughs> describing sex. I fuck her. Three to four minutes. It rules. <laughs> it's the best sex I've ever had. Last time I saw her pussy, there was a wall. <laughs> yeah. Now she wants to build a wall. Yeah. Um, it rules. So then I, I bust. I, I ejaculate. Look at me, Jordan. But inside or on her back? No. Uh, in, the, in a cup. <laughs> and yeah. then she drinks it. She takes it. a sample. <laughs> Thank you. She's like, you've been eating a lot of salmon. Yeah. <laughs> uh, no, I usually just on her back, mm-hmm. and then I grab a towel. <laughs> what? What? I know. So it's like. To wh- hear you, like, just, like, so, like, it's like. I like no... it like this. I like the breakdown. We don't get enough of this. Yeah. I think this is important. It's just like there's no. It seems like there's no pleasure element your, for it hear... at all in this. You're catching like, on. Yeah. It's just like we're I, gonna hear yours. In I a get minute. blown. I bust on her back, and then I go play Fortnite and I go to sleep. That's <laughs> literally it. I give her like a high five, and I'm like, I go into the living room. I fire up the Xbox. Get on voice chat with all my dogs. <laughs> And we oh, I love when sex is over. I just <laughs> it's so nice because I did something. I was productive you know I mean? today. Yeah. And it's like he's happy. It feels <laughs> so good. Yeah. Like, I get to go to Target. It's charitable. Yeah. It's like we watch a movie. It's like, oh. Well, I recently, last night, I realized why like so many white guys are in a cuckolding. It's because it's, they can watch black dudes fuck <laughs> properly. Well, it, <laughs> they're I, like, oh, do that. They're like, oh. <laughs> Reading body language First on a woman. First of all, no I way. fucked a couple of black guys, and it's not like you know. Who yeah. would you fuck? Some Canadian black person oh that my don't count. God. <laughs> you need somebody that got brought over here on a ship. She's over the Cosby. Dude. Oh, no, you I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. <laughs> yeah, lay down, Bonnie. Yeah. Come get this meat. You, you gotta can, know yeah. things yeah. to orgasm. Yeah, <laughs> sex only works if you know things. <laughs> Let me massage you. You need watery. Uh, uh, first type of black guy getting into Canadian. Never <laughs> yeah, see that again. Yeah. Why um, is Kofi Annan so aggressive? <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck were we just talking about? about? Sex with your girl. He's like making fun of white people's sex. Dare you. But it's really married people's sex. Yeah. But no, I realized why white guys are so into the cuckolding shit. It's a time thing. That's what it is. It's like the reason, like, somebody needs to fuck my girlfriend. 
Okay. Someone needs. She's young. She's hot. <laughs> she's got good pussy to give. You know what I mean? <laughs> right. She deserves to get a great fucking. The problem is, I'm always tired because I'm a white guy. But why don't you fuck her in the morning? Well, I, you got He's the morning, morning breath. Yeah. You know? Oh my god, I love. Uh, so I don't ooh, shower ooh, before better. bed. You so. like the morning breath? I mean, I don't. I don't kiss. It's the only uh, time Rich's teeth are in. Yeah. <laughs> 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 No, Richard, I don't really make out. I feel like I don't make out with my chick enough. Married people never make out. I, yeah. like. I mean, it's so weird. It's like making out with your brother. That is, <laughs> th- that is the thing that, that is the it. hottest about married sex is if you can like kind of, it's like you know them so well, it's disgusting that you're having sex with yeah, them. It's yeah. like part. Of, it's like your family that you're having sex with. Right. So that so you can get a little hot on that level. <laughs> <laughs> that's damn. That's when you really love like, each other so much, it turns into like a weird kink. It's all, at yeah. Some right. Point. No, because right. I, I I don't know. I don't know if I look at my chick as like a best friend. I guess like as much of a best friend as a chick can be. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Which is. Not really Wait, how high. long have you guys been? Two years, three years? Three years. Yeah. And we live together now. For how long have you all been living together now? It's been like almost a year. Okay. And I, from my perspective, I've been having a great time. She hates it a lot. Yeah. yeah you she, fucking slob. Yeah. I'm She's dirty. got to clean up after you and all You remember shit. my old apartment. Yeah, I do. Oh, my God. Men love, like, having a, a woman in your house must be it's amazing. heaven. It's amazing. It must be. I make Rich these amazing, like, breakfasts. And yeah. I, he'll be like, my, we have separate bedrooms. But he'll be like. Uh, I got to hear about this. I love it. It's so amazing. <laughs> it's really. That's like I love him so he much. He doesn't hear more. the other guys yeah. coming in. Yeah. 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 <laughs> <laughs> it's just a parade of black dudes coming in and out of there. It's just it's like, is there a million man march going on <laughs> in the spare bedroom? <laughs> Rich forgets he's, he's like in, in the closet. Stuff. Don't worry, he likes it. <laughs> no, but it's like he'll be like, my sheets need washing. You know, I gotta I mean, wear them tonight. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I've got a meeting to go to. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I told you the eye. Holes are too small. Yeah, so funny. Look at these, you're crooked. <laughs> <laughs> One's lower than the other. I can't fucking oh see. My God. <laughs> I didn't want to invite you on to just make fun of Rich the whole time, but it's like, it's it's like inevitable. Yeah, it's, whenever we do a roast, we're always like, what are they going to say? And then I know. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I think I'll be all right. <laughs> oh, that's so funny. When did separate bedrooms start? So we bought this uh, house right before the pandemic, and uh, there was two extra bedrooms. So I yeah. was like, "Pick one," you know. And uh, <laughs> <laughs> so first he he went he had the bedroom downstairs because it has a bathroom with it. Yeah, and uh, clutch that, move. But yeah. then he didn't like being downstairs. He th- that felt that was too, too far. close to the intruders. Yeah, like he you know. And so then he moved into the uh, the he other the, the, the other the other bedroom. I know. He so then back. I sent him the, the lease for the upstairs room. What? I sent him the lease for the upstairs yes, room. Yes, yes. Like, so that we as we renegotiate the contract. <laughs> He's like, I'm moving today. Yeah. Well, I, okay, I get it's that. It's a that big it's... moving day. Gather my <laughs> gather my sheet, Make my breakfast. Don't drop a ring. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You but just hear rings is... like Sonic <laughs> clinking down the stairs. <laughs> clink 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 clink. clink. Oh no, my precious ring. <laughs> he is like a comedian golem. Yeah. <laughs> My precious. My precious. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god, you guys don't know the half of it. <laughs> Yo, oh I'd love to see Rich's ring box. <laughs> box? Yeah. You can see the ring closet. Yeah, seriously. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, that's so but funny. it's good though. It's good like having the separate <laughs> bedrooms and just being like, all right. No, because he's he never sleeps and he snores and it's just like too much, yeah. you know, yeah, to, yeah. to like deal with. It's like once he got plus, you know, then it, it feels a little, you know, I go into a his room, tension, we have a little yeah. sex in there, Sneak I go back in. to my room after. <laughs> you don't want the puddle <laughs> he in gives your me bed. A CD yeah. as a parting gift. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. yeah, you leave a little change on the counter. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Yeah, you can go buy yourself a nice pinky <laughs> ring. <laughs> I so I don't get into bed until like five in the morning usually because that's when the forklift guy comes. <laughs> <laughs> oh God, you're really. Why are you laughing at that, dude? That was a it, it hit twice for me. Like it, it like. It sunk in the second level. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's my, oh, the left here. <laughs> it's time to go to bed. Going to bed so late again. Yeah. 
When are you going to yeah. fire that cannonball yeah. in? <laughs> yeah, I loved you in the whale. <laughs> That's too far. <laughs> Congrats on bringing hope, your career back around. I hope that reaction caught on camera. <laughs> um, no, so, but I go to bed so fucking late. Like, I got into bed last night at five in the morning. I didn't fall asleep till nine. Shit. Just tossing and turning, fucking my blowhole shot out. <laughs> I just, I'm miserable in bed, dude. Like, I just can't fucking fall asleep sometimes. And the whole, every toss, turn, and I have podcast clips playing the whole time because I can't fall asleep to silence. And oh. she just has to deal with this. Why don't you play like brown noise or something? I hate black people. <laughs> <laughs> what just is like, that, rap? <laughs> no, no. Just, a, just a playlist of, hold on. <laughs> What y'all mean? <laughs> uh, uh, uh. <laughs> oh shit! Y'all ain't got no more sandwiches. <laughs> I came here for a sandwich. <laughs> just noise. Yeah. That's a black noise yeah. machine. Yeah, that's a black noise machine. This is like somebody better come get these kids. Y'all ain't. You better close my screen door. <laughs> you ain't gonna oh be running god. in and out. <laughs> oh my god, I'm dizzy, dude. I'm sweating. <laughs> Holy shit! <laughs> just, no, this, for you, this is exercise. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I think I'm doing it. <laughs> yeah, play play like some kind of just like ambient thing. Not like I can't. Like I need podcast. my brain starts going fucking haywire. I wrote some jokes last night while uh, you don't ever just like jack off and go to sleep or something. Only when you're next door. <laughs> <laughs> just hear no. me breathing on the other side <laughs> through the wall. <laughs> yeah. No. Uh, first of all, she hates when I jerk off. She can't stand that. Really? She's like, "That's my cum." <laughs> <laughs> I'm dehydrated. Yeah. Uh, every time I jerk off, I'm an idiot though, because like I'll jerk off in bed and I'll like I'll get like toilet paper to come in, <laughs> mm-hmm. yeah. and I'll like put like a nice roll next to me. <laughs> Wait, this to is the while wall, she's like, in. Screamers, this is like while she's in party. bed with you. <laughs> no, no. Yeah, oh. tell me about her face. I'm like, <laughs> you wrap her up like a mummy. <laughs> How is it not hot anymore? With the two of you. <laughs> yeah. No, so I'll jerk off like while she's at work, mm-hmm. and so I'll have like the toilet paper, but then the problem is. By the time I remember, like I'm ready to come, I'll just go to the bathroom and I'll just jerk come into the toilet. So okay. like, that's, that's the way I thought guys always came. No. Yeah, I can't come without. A toilet. I mean, I I've really just learned. Yeah, that's it's not the case. If no. I'm not within ten feet of the toilet, good luck getting me to orgasm. Really? No. I open. The <laughs> you gotta, you gotta yeah. get a picture of a toilet on your phone. Yeah. <laughs> One second, baby. Yeah, they're like to not come think of gross shit. Uh, I think yeah. of a toilet yeah. just immediately. Yeah. Like, oh, <laughs> that's what I want to come in. <laughs> no, so uh, just for easy cleanup, I'll just jizz on the toilet, and then uh, I have a bad habit now. I also like wipe my dick. Take that. <laughs> yeah, you dirty bitch. <laughs> the toilet's mouth is open. <laughs> Waiting, <laughs> wait for the piss. <laughs> yeah, no, but now I like wipe my dick dry, and but then you get like toilet paper particle like on your dickhead, so yeah, it just yeah. looks like your dick's a coke head, right? Yeah. For the rest of the day, and but the problem is, so for now the rest I, of the day, he doesn't clean up between. Dude, the, Jesus. Yo, no wonder she hates living with this guy. Cloth? Yeah, <laughs> but then I'll forget. This is the problem. His dick looks like a clans member whenever she pulls his pants down. <laughs> Where were you at the meeting? <laughs> yeah, exactly. So then I just jizz in the toilet. I just go about the rest of my day, and then I, she comes home. She finds the fucking toilet paper, the neatly rolled cum toilet paper, and just like, wait, 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 where? Okay, so that's in the, the bed. You it's just still in the bed. Right. Still in the I bed. forgot about. But it. you didn't come in the toilet paper. No, no. So there's just toilet paper in the bed. There's just toilet paper in the bed. So best case scenario, I'm shitting. <laughs> You're right. Worst case, I jerked off yeah. without her. Oh my that's how God. she processes it. Oh my god! Yeah, that's crazy, bro. Rich always calls to tell me when he's jerked off on the road or whatever. <laughs> really? Yeah. I was, just want to let you know I was thinking about you. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I just jerked you off in a Marriott. <laughs> it was great. He when didn't take Wo- off his rings. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. When yeah. you're in Worcester, check the curtain. I wrote, <laughs> I love you. Right. <laughs> yeah. Holy shit. Uh, yeah. Oh, so break down. I know you're fucking. I, I feel like I've talked to you about your sex breakdown. Mm-hmm. It's like this guy's got flowers. He's got. Oh, yeah, I want to hear it. Candles I'm, lit. I'm very okay. So I'm like a, I guess I would be considered like a pleasure dom. What the fuck? I want. Yes. Already, it's turned yeah. me off. <laughs> like I get, pleasure. I get off on pleasing somebody. And what? So. And what does the other guy do? <laughs> he goes, "Hell oh, yes, <laughs> a pleasure dom." <laughs> yeah, no. <laughs> I know a pleasure dom, but I see one. He goes, Hello, my baby. Hello, my darling. <laughs> That's the black noise machine. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> No, yeah, so, like, <laughs> yeah, I, I, you know, I like a good make out, you know, work my way down the body, eat out, make sure they come from eating out, and then, you know, 
Oh, so you meant they ate at like you took them to a restaurant. Yeah, I was in. I was going to change my process. Yeah, TJ had like, pussies. That's what I meant. And then like no, so I'm just down there and I take care. You know, I do my thing. Down my there. But how do you like know they come? Because they go, holy fuck, I'm coming, and then their legs start shaking and shit, and they go, and then afterwards they go, I haven't come like that in a long time. Oh my god. Oh, John, I don't come like <laughs> yeah. that for a long time. I'm just telling you that. See, I'm, this is the thing. People will be like, try to go like, ah, you yeah, know, yeah, women yeah, Vegas. Yeah. Uh, I've no, been with the, enough and, people and, and they're not faking it because you're bad. The reason women fake it a lot of time is because sometimes it's hard for women to come. Yeah. So no. when they don't want they don't want a guy to be like down there for two fucking hours and feel like oh he's got because if you go okay no I'll come it's sometimes it takes a lot. No, I know. So then you fake it. You get no. good at like shaking your leg and no, I know, but it's also like you can tell when somebody comes. Yeah. Okay. There's toilet paper in the bed. Yeah. <laughs> also, but there's like. Physical things I have is like women also yeah. squirt and get wet and shit like uh, you know. I that. mean, you can get wet. And, no, no. And, uh, like I've here's the telltale sign. Oh, I'm a woman, but no, you're right. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, what are they? If they're squirting, like, what am I supposed to be like? Oh, you think that was CGI squirt? No, I'm not saying <laughs> like, that. I'm not saying that you don't make women come. Mm-hmm. I'm saying I don't know I'm for sure that. that you can consider like a hundred percent success rate. No, of course no, not. I'm not saying 100%, 100% but I'm saying it's pretty high. Yeah, he's got he works out. He's got good cardio. Yeah. Yeah. But the the I get what I I totally get what you mean though. Yeah, like, I get yeah. it. I understand. Yeah. Um <laughs> do you? I do. <laughs> but I, like I also, you know, take pride in my shit, yo. Yeah, I think to me the telltale I take like, care of myself. I take care of my apartment. You come over to my apartment, I got plants and shit. They live. Yeah. We have a bunch of plants too. Yeah. You know, but who's taking care of them? Not me. Exactly. Obviously. But the telltale is after a chick comes, you have to just like give her like a hard rub to the clit. Just a quick <laughs> swipe. And yeah, because then when they're like, ah! Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, if they're too sensitive, yeah. they're like, don't yeah. fucking touch me! Yeah. Like, if they go dinosaur, dude, yeah, yeah. you it's rocked your world, yeah, and now you good. ruined it. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So that's yeah. The, I feel that was like kind of the only way I'd really know. Yeah. But you get older, it's like, who gives a shit if she came, you know? No, I care. Is that even a yeah, part of it? Yeah, but sometimes it's like you should, like, sometimes guys want you to come for themselves like you say you're yeah, pleasure yeah, dom yeah. but really it's about you being like it turns me on for sure of course but yeah. sometimes girls can't come so then i'm still enjoying the experience right, right. and having fun and i like all of it it's just that now i'm under this added pressure to make you feel like you're the man who yeah, made me yeah. come when it's so, it's, it's, when it was the mailman <laughs> but really i just came before you got there yeah <laughs> no i mean you know do y'all ever stop thinking? What? Who? Women? Women. <laughs> <laughs> like, because you're just like, oh, I got to make this guy feel good about it. Like, we're just like, I want to fucking Well, I guess, sure I don't know. It's a, a different biology makeup, I guess. I don't know. It's not yeah. like you guys are wrong and we're right or we're right. Right. No, no. You're wrong. Well, they're not wired. The this thing. is like, we're wired to orgasm. Mm-hmm. They're not wired to orgasm. Like, as in like the this, first desire. Like Andrew Tate's book? Yeah, so. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> no, you know what I mean? Like, no, but you've met women that are like adult women that have never come. Yeah. It's, biz- it's, it's like mind blowing. My blowing. mom's wild. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. She might not, need not to be after here. I'm done with her. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I, uh, I, if I could take one thing back from my young single sexual times, I wish I would have just eaten less pussy. Yeah. Eaten less? Yeah. That's yeah. so funny. Because <laughs> he's, he's eating everything else. I'll tell you that. <laughs> Like that's that's not why you're fat, Larry. <laughs> right, yeah. You know, I tell you, man, I was just eating all this pussy, and then pounds just started throwing on oh you, boy. Oh my god! Everything in moderation, <laughs> right? Yeah. No, I, be, the, first of all, again, not fat. Ruben esque. Okay. <laughs> Ruben esque. Yes. Okay. Ruben esque. <laughs> no, it's because I took a lot of strange vaginas to the throat. Just in, they've been taking strange dicks to the throat too. Yeah, but think about how many. Dicks I mean, it is disgusting yeah. when you think about it. It's but. What the dicks? All of it. All yes. of I give a shower dick ninety nine percent of the time, freshly, with one small piece of toilet paper on the tip. <laughs> yeah, but it's not that bad, honestly, if it's a little rank because it's it feeds into the you thing that you're like doing something shit. gross. Yo, you just like you everything. have to be like I'm doing something. Disgusting. Yeah, Bonnie's right though. No woman I know is ever like anytime I'm like I'm gonna take a shower. They're like, no, it's fine. Like yo, everything Bonnie has said, you were turned on by the just like I wanted to be nasty and it's not, wrong. It's not really true. I'm not that yeah, like she adventurous. Keeps, she keeps like, the whole yeah, car up under her I bed. I just wanna, I want a smelly brother. But I, I like it when it like adds to the. 
you, know, you had a whole experience. Of, you yeah. had smell, taste, yeah. sound. Yeah. Like Bonnie you, just goes to a petting zoo. <laughs> 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 yeah. No, fucking uh, no. I noticed most of any time. I'm like the, the the pussy who's like, oh, let's take like a shower. You know, do mm-hmm. that. Like I've only eaten ass twice. It was very quick. Yeah. Like, yeah see, I'm not, I don't think I do that. Yeah. yeah, really. After all this, yeah, I don't know. Maybe <laughs> little, little I mean, I listen. Of a hint of smell down I've there, been like... married seventeen years, so eating ass wasn't that big of a deal back yeah. then. Yeah. Really? I I, I only no. started hearing about it in the last like that's six very years, yeah. Like... Oh, you mean as in like nobody was talking about it? Right. Yeah. yeah. Okay. It's very new. I mean. Yeah, I, yeah. I had a couple of gentlemen ask if they could. I said, no, thank you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Eating ass now is like eating pussy yes. in the 90s, you know? Like, <laughs> <laughs> I was just like, hey, so hey fellas, y'all out there eating pussy? Some of y'all eating pussy. <laughs> nasty. It's I not see, gay. Yeah, I see your top lip. Look at you. <laughs> <laughs> Crowd like standing up. Right, because you know why? Because it has to go to another. It's The more we talk about it, the more that it's like, yeah. you yeah. know, yeah. porn is just fucking Everywhere. front and center the less that you there's things to get excited about it's supposed to be a little bit wrong that's what gets you going yeah yeah you know so that's why people eat ass yeah I, tr- I tried it twice mm-hmm. and both times it was just like I, i'm like doing or receiving doing i've been offered to receive and by the way the chicks who offer to eat your ass <laughs> oh my and, God. in my <laughs> wait wait <laughs> let's hear her out let's hear her out what's she what's she thinking I'm gonna blur her out the whole episode. <laughs> no, no. Are you just uh, like, I, no? I was like, I, I, was like, like I was hot ass. at the time. I was like hot, like 21. No, I just, yeah. I mean, just a girl asking. To yeah, yeah. Your ass is kind of funny. And for the record, it's always like the hottest, hottest girl. Yeah, because she's so fucked and she's so insecure. Has seen everything else that she needs like a new jolt. Yeah. It's always the one who's willing to eat your ass. The hottest one. Too. Yeah, mm-hmm. but I've I've always said no. Really? Never I'm very had it done yet? Never had it done. Uh my chick tried to put a finger in my ass. I don't care for that. Dildo's fine though. <laughs> yeah. It's gotta have a little girth to it. <laughs> it goes without saying. <laughs> no, I I don't like things in my anus. And uh I have a very tight anus, so it's it's painful. It's very, okay. I'm like I'm like the, the one I push your leg back. <laughs> You know, <laughs> you go, you go, <laughs> the two people that you did to, were you with them? Like, were you seeing them? Or no, was it no, just like casual. Tomatoes? Within five seconds into it, I was like, what am I doing? It's yeah. like, this is, and it was freshly showered, whatever. But even then, I was like, this, what the fuck is the point of this? What's the satisfaction? Now your tongue feels hot for an hour. <laughs> right. You're paranoid. Yeah. You're like, uh-huh. you're, you're like fucking you're white. Like, Scraping it against your teeth, like Scra- yes, <laughs> you're doing the so you put soap on the tip of your fucking tongue. It's just who needs that? Uh. And I remember, like, I literally had a sore throat for like two years back when I was when I used to eat pussy because I was just my tonsils were blown the fuck out. Like, Wait, what's that from? Just like I think because of, of vaginas, pussies. different bacteria. Back, going there's in. so much bacteria. It's like a fish tank. It's like pH. You guys, well, because you get like sometimes it with new partners, you get like yourself you get like some some kind of like yeah uti or something because of the bacteria. i would get those a lot too back in the day yeah if you have a short urethra men, yeah. are, men yeah. are susceptible so short urethra means you gotta what <laughs> what are you implying a wide dick i mean <laughs> <laughs> just a short little <laughs> i don't have a big dick jordan it's not long but it's thick though uh, my dick is the length of an iphone that's an average dick yeah that's an average Good. dick I feel yeah. like well i lied <laughs> uh what do you guys have for plugs what do you guys got coming up this is coming out next week on monday um i don't fucking know <laughs> you have a great podcast okay i'll save my podcast <laughs> I have to remind you of your <laughs> shit <laughs> we're, we're switching uh what are you doing we're gonna we're gonna be in we're, we're gonna have a little new like uh format Grand reopening. Oh, okay. Mm. Nice. That means she's having sex again. (laughs) (laughs) I gave Rich a head on the podcast once. Oh, I think I saw this clip years ago. No, there was no audio, right? It was just audio, yeah. No, I think I heard this. Really? Just him. Dude, like, Bonnie. Oh, okay. <laughs> I told yeah. you, whatever he asks, I gotta. Yeah. <laughs> you do that right now? <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, for me, just follow me uh, at Jordan Fisher. Um, that's got my. Links for my uh, dates coming up. I'll be in Hartford, Connecticut this weekend, and then uh, Baltimore coming up. So, yeah, just follow me there. 
He will make you come. <laughs> I will. <laughs> I'll eat your pussy to the moon, Alice. <laughs> uh, by the time this comes out in August, I think I'm going to be in Texas, in Dallas at the House of Comedy. So come out to that. We're going to be headlining a weekend. Um, and just most importantly, keep supporting the show, guys. Thank you so much. We've gotten a very warm reception to this podcast. So everybody that's been like commenting, you guys are the fucking best. Um, keep doing that. Help us push in the algorithm. Go to gasdigitalnetwork.com. You can join our live chat. We do a live one every Monday at 6.30. The last one, I was a little frazzled getting used to shit over here. But uh, being that, you can use promo code LEV. You get a seven-day free trial. And um, you can be in the, ch- the chat. You get the episodes like five days early or whatever the fuck. So it is it is very much worth it. Um, other than that, man, we, we appreciate the fuck of you guys for being here. I hope I'm not forgetting anything else. And make sure I love you, you, Lev. You're the best. I love you too. You, you guys, really I love very both of you very much. You Jordan guys are. I don't care for. But <laughs> oh, damn, <laughs> <laughs> the only reason I came here was to get her love. <laughs> <laughs> no, you guys. Oh, I just came. <laughs> <laughs> My leg is like yeah. bouncing. Well, around. I was gonna think about that for the rest of the week. And be like, that piece of shit. Anybody <laughs> come? <laughs> yeah, she's got like a back pain. She's like, maybe I should have taken him up on that. Right. I yeah. mean, it's uh, just funny. I it's just funny when guys are like, I always make them come. It's like, I'm confident, you know? baby. <laughs> All right, guys, we love you Thank so you. much. <laughs> Cheers.